come over here. I want to show you the sort of inspired business acumen that makes me a winner. Look at that. Goldfish. Gold mine, Terry. Gold mine. I would have thought sharks would be more in your line. Very droll, very droll. So what are you going to do with them? Put them in little plastic bags. Well, at least you are. I'm what? Now, look, don't worry, you'll be on an earner. How big an earner? Oh, well, that depends, doesn't it? I mean, there's a bit of time and motion to consider. Oh, time and motion? Well, yeah, you know, like piecework. So much a bag. I think that'll be equitable. What are you talking about? Well, look, you've been to the fairground, haven't you? Yes, Arthur, I've been to the fairground. And you see, in some of the booths, they have little plastic bags with goldfish in, which they give away as prizes. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Now, how do you think those fish get into those little plastic bags? Somebody puts them in the little plastic bags. You're quick, Terry, I'll give you that, you're quick. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do it. Well, someone's got to. <laughs> Ain't going to be me. No, 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 they don't hurt them, if that's what's worrying you. I mean, they've got no nervous system. You, I mean, you've never heard a trout scream when it got caught, have you? Don't leave it out, Arthur. Look, look, hang on, hang on. No, look, you are being unreasonable, Terry. You are being very unreasonable. Arthur, I'm not putting live goldfish into little plastic bags. Look, it's not cruel, if that's what's worrying you. I've got this fishmonger friend, and he told me they like it being on their own. It gives them a sense of identity, a feeling of tranquility, away from the pack. It's the crowded bowl they don't like. I don't know where you drew them up. Honest, I don't. I mean, one minute they're nerveless, the next minute they're all brainy and sensitive. No, 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 I'm not saying that, but it's instinctive, isn't it? Like all God's creatures. That's right. And I instinctively know I ain't gonna do it. Look, as a personal favour for me, Terry. It's got nothing to do with favours, or wages, or whether the bleeding fish like it or not. Well, what then? I ain't gonna do it. Well, why not? Well, it's... Well, what? Well... I don't like touching, that's all. Slimy and wriggly and now, I've got a thing about it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm case like you, scared of touching a goldfish. I didn't say I was scared, did I? I said I just don't like touching them. Well, 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 who'd have thought it? Everybody's got a thing about something. You don't like rats. Nobody don't like rats. Rats are disliked from the off. We are talking about a pet, a creature of joy and wonder to children. I'll see you later. Well, where are you going? I'll take this back to Des. Pick up my own motor. He's way out in the East End now. That's right. Hey, listen, supposing I throw in a pair of rubber gloves? <laughs> they probably drown, Arthur. Bloody ingrate! <laughs>